Hi YouTube, it's Carrie for Eyes to See, and I've got Lila here, starring as our North Pole on our flat earth garden. I have changes I want to make that I'm going to discuss with you today. Um, several months ago, maybe could have been a year or longer, I, I showed you some paintings I've been making. And I painted this one first that and I was oh it was heart wrenching almost to paint it one because I painted the ice wall so thick and second all the brown on there is like I tried to be as realistic as I could well okay so I made this second painting I've shown you this too that's inspired by the uh, 10,000 year old map that they found. I don't know the details of that, sorry. Which I liked the, I kind of liked the feel of the ice wall, but in the same respect, it didn't seem realistic to me that it would be as thick as I had portrayed in the painting, right? And uh, let's, I want to do a third painting, and I've talked to people, I, I've commented because they're through hangouts and chats people or people watching me have inspired me what the third painting is going to be in the moment but it never came out or it did not come out as of yet I should say right well okay this is going to help me and help all of us I want to in this flat earth garden, one, I want to make sea level. So we're going to melt the ice wall in this moment. We're going to, I've got a box here. I'm going to put all these crystals in here. Thanks to Admiral Bird, you guys. Um, and I'm sure if you've research flat earth stuff you know what I'm talking about when I say Admiral Byrd because he's the only one you know back in the 20s we have record of him going out there or uh, up there or down there a glober would say right uh, to see the poles and he brought us back pictures and they didn't really look like what these huge ice walls that we see. I wonder sometimes if the ice walls are kind of like the moon shots, you guys. <laughs> Just kind of saying that in the moment, but it's, you never know. Maybe they're not real. Maybe these humongous walls of ice are as fictitious as a moon landing that happened in Nevada or or somewhere that looks like a moon, you know. Um, so right now, what I'm doing is I am taking the ice wall. I researched, I said this in an earlier video, breaking back the word ice bra breaks back to the Hebrew word is crystal. And that, I mean... I find very interesting. Um, so, these could be mountains outside where we, we picture the South Pole. Could be a big, huge mountain of crystal around us that's not even ice. It's nice and warm. And you could climb up them. And maybe they're huge crystals. You guys, I'm thinking of that in the moment while I'm doing this. I had never had that thought before. <laughs> but uh, I'm taking all these crystals down or out, right? Because what I want to do with you is, is, is <laughs> just think and conceive the thought that we live on a flat plane and this flat plane doesn't necessarily end. So the third painting could actually 
what I'd like to do is do a painting where these are beautiful and green and there's heaven on earth. Meaning this is earth. Maybe this wall isn't here and there is land very much closer to us than we would envision. The reason is because we need a sun and moon in order to, to keep us in here. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about this, or I'm not going to say too much, right? Um, without that wall, all of this would become green. When we understand the truth about this story, people ask, most frequently asked question of me in, turn, in uh, reference to Flat Earth is why? Why bother? Why, 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 why? Well, we don't understand this, guys. We don't understand what's happening. And that, if we understood it, if we understood, quite possibly, we would be green like all of this. Okay? And this, what I'm wanting to share with you with this map is going to show us that the moon and the sun have a lot to tell us about how it influences our body, how it influences the way we live and grow and eat. <laughs> so we're going to, we took out the ice wall and now I want, I'm going to take the, the moss out as well. And tonight or this afternoon, I want to redo the moss as accurately as I possibly can taking Greenland and Iceland and all of them right up to Lila, almost up there <laughs> because it's green and beautiful there. Okay. It's not piles of ice. Maybe they've got a teeny tiny bit. I don't know. Who knows? They won't let us go look, right? So, uh, oh, oh, hmm. <clears throat> guess I should go into... I'm looking at the time. We're going on about maybe 10 minutes here. Um, I want to wait and show you, or should I show them real quick what I was telling you about? Yeah. Okay, right now, guys, um, I'll put me back on here. There's North America. <laughs> and my little pin, I don't know where it went. All right, this is me or this is you. And right now my son has already passed over noon right over my head and is going to be setting. The moon is going to be coming in like this at about... Okay, well, let's go to a place where it doesn't matter today so this film will last the test of time okay see if you can get this in here Trin um, I'm having a little okay we have the Sun the moon is following the Sun right now and it's at about 60% waxing which means it's heading to new moon when when it gets to new moon phase this they won't it won't be following or the sun won't be following it and it won't be following the sun it'll be so close to it we won't be able to see it i'm not explaining this right um this right here is the full moon, okay? This would be glowing full. We can see it, and it's traveling around for 24 hours or 48, and it looks like a full moon to us. Then it starts heading back towards the, the new moon phase, I don't think I'm doing it as good this time, Trent. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. 
Well, you know what, guys? Let's get this flat and see level. And then we can see level. I will explain it again. Because it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's good. And I thank you for watching. And this is Four Eyes to See. Signing out. Carrie. Keeping it flat. <laughs> I love you guys.